Hi, this is Griffin with Waste Home Furniture. Today we're going to be building the three shelf bookcase. This is our black oak finish and it can be found on walmart.com. Before you start, you want to make sure that you have all of your hardware and all of your panels and that none of it was damaged while shipping. If you have any issues, you can refer to the number on the front of the manual and we'll get you taken care of. If everything is in order, then we can begin assembly. In step one, you're going to need your two A panels and your two B panels. You can start with your A panel and four wood dowel pieces. So you want to insert one into each side in this middle pre-drilled hole. Then you can grab your other A panel and do the same. Next, you will want to take four of these cam bolts and you will want to screw them in to these two middle pre-drilled holes on the side of the panel. Repeat this for the other A panel. Now you will want to take four more cam bolts and your two B panels and once again screw the cam bolts into the middle two pre-drilled holes or the inside. For step two, you will need your three C panels and your D panel, uh, eight cam locks, and eight wood dowel pieces. You can start by inserting the wood dowel pieces into the outer pre-drilled holes on each panel. Next, you will want to insert two cam locks into each panel. Ensure that the pointy little crosshair is pointed out towards the hole that is on the side opposite side of this panel. So if the cam lock's here, I want the pointy side facing this way towards this hole on this side. If it's twisted the wrong way, you can use a screwdriver to point it in the right direction. For step three, you'll need your two A panels, your two B panels, and your C and D panel. So you can start with one of the A panels. You will want to slide the D panel onto it so that the cam locks are facing uh, this way. If it doesn't slide in, that probably means that you don't have the cam locks uh, pointed in the right direction. Once you have it on there, you can turn clockwise to tighten it down. Next, take your other A panel and attach a C panel to it. Okay, and then take your two B panels and attach them just the same as you did uh, the A panels. In step four, you'll need your F panel and your A panel that is attached to a C panel. You will want to align the A panel like this with the unfinished side facing up, and then your F panel like so, so that the little feet are pointed away and the unfinished side is facing up. Then you can slide it on there. Then you will need two screws, two nuts, and two caps. Uh, you'll want to insert uh, the nuts into this A panel so that the hole is facing out towards this so that the screw can insert into it. Then you will want to insert the two screws through the F panel into the A and tighten it down. After you have inserted the two screws, you can then attach the caps to cover them up. In step five, you will now want your other A panel, the one with the D attached to it. Uh, two more screws, 
two more nuts, and two more caps. Simply slide it on, just as you did last step. Then you will want to insert in your two nuts into the A panel. And then you can insert the screw into the F, into the A, and tighten it down. And once you have secured it, you can uh, attach the caps to cover up the screws. For step six, you will want to grab your E-panel. You will want to align it so that the feet are on the same side as this, the holes are on the inside, and the unfinished side is facing up. You can then slide it on to the rest of the assembly. Then you will want to grab four nuts, four screws, and four caps. Start by inserting, you want to do two nuts into this panel. You want to make it so that this little hole is facing this way, towards the F panel, or E panel. Then insert the other two nuts into this panel. Then you can secure it with two screws on each side. After you secured those two, you can cover the screws with the two caps. For step seven, you're going to want to grab this G panel, lay it down so the unfinished side is facing up. You want to make sure that you line it up perfectly. And then grab your all your nails and a hammer. And simply uh, nail in each spot that there's a pre-drilled hole. Now that you've attached this back panel, you can go ahead and set your unit up. Then you can grab eight of these supports and go ahead and put them at whatever level you would like your shelf at. I'm going to do mine three up. You'll want to insert four little supports for each shelf. Okay, once you put four in, you can grab one of your B panels, simply slide it on in. Once you have done this, you now have a complete assembly.